Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. I've been looking for ways to keep my hair from getting too dry and frizzy during the winter time. I came across a discussion online where a few ladies were talking about how they keep their hair from getting dry and frizzy. And what they do is they use their regular conditioner, they heat it up, apply it to their hair, and let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes. And then they rinse it off and that keeps their hair frizz free. It keeps their hair soft and shiny and it helps keep their hair from getting dry. So I decided to give it a try and it works really well. So I thought I would share it with you. This is like a deep conditioning hair treatment, but instead of using a deep conditioner, we are going to use a regular conditioner. If you want, you can use your deep conditioner. There is a difference between just the regular conditioner and the deep conditioner. The deep conditioner is a lot thicker than the regular conditioner because it has added proteins, extra oils, it's got a whole bunch of added ingredients. So it works differently, it's just formulated differently. You need to start with clean hair. So I already shampooed my hair. You don't want your hair to be dripping wet. So dry your hair as well as you can. Soak up all the extra water. What you need is your conditioner, any conditioner of your choice. I am using my regular conditioner that I normally use. And you'll need a shower cap. I have these disposable ones. But I know that there's so many different kinds of shower caps. So you can use any type of shower cap you want. I'm just going to use the cheap disposable ones. If you have gray hair or you're going natural, I do not recommend that you use a plastic bag. I know some people use plastic bags in place of a shower cap when they are doing treatments like this. And the reason I don't recommend it is because they have the labeling on the bag, the print on the bag, and the color of the bag could stain your gray hair. Don't take that chance. Don't risk staining your hair with the plastic bag. The disposable shower caps don't cost much. They're under $5 for a pack. So it's just better just to invest a few bucks in that rather than end up staining your hair and having to go through the whole transition process all over again. What I did is I filled a cup with hot water. I put my conditioner in a little plastic bottle that I found at the dollar store. I filled it up with the conditioner and I put it in the cup and I filled the cup up with hot water and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. So while it was sitting in the hot water, I took a shower and washed my hair really quick. Now you can use a microwave to heat up your conditioner, but there is a risk of getting those hot spots and burning yourself. If you decide to use the microwave to heat up your conditioner, then make sure to mix it really well with a spoon and test it. And the same goes for this. We're not just, I'm not, I don't just squeeze it out onto my head. You want to shake it really well, make sure there's no hot spots in there and test it on your hand before you put it on your scalp. If it is really hot, you obviously are not going to put it on your scalp because then you can burn yourself. So we just want the conditioner to be warm, not hot. And what this is going to do is, when we apply it to our hair, it 
the heat is going to open up the hair cuticle and it's going to allow the conditioner to penetrate into your hair and add that moisture that your hair needs when it dries out and that's what's going to help your hair so shake it up really good and just mine feels nice and warm it's not hot it's comfortably warm it's enough to where i know it's going to open up the hair cuticle Use the weird little sounds. Maybe I'll take this top off. Oops. I'm just going to apply the conditioner to my hair. I'm going to start down at the bottom because that is the part that normally gets dry if it does. I really haven't had any issues with dry hair since I've allowed my hair to come to grow out naturally it's so much healthier a few people have asked me if the texture of my hair has changed since I've gone natural and it's actually gotten a lot softer it doesn't feel coarse like I thought it would I've always imagined or thought gray hair was going to be really wiry and coarse and dry and my hair does not feel like that at all. But it is winter time and I do have issues with my hair, especially my scalp during the winter time. Or it's going to be winter time, it's not winter time yet. But we're heading into winter time and I want to be prepared. I don't want to have a surprise. I've noticed that now that I have gray hair that any little issue with my hair is really obvious. So if I have any flyaways, you can see that a mile away. When I used to dye my hair, it wasn't as obvious, I guess, because the dark color kind of camouflaged it. Frizzy hair is an issue for me down at the bottom since I hadn't had a haircut. If you didn't see my last video, you should watch that. I snipped it off because it was so frizzy. So I do have issues with frizzy hair down at the ends. So this does help with that. I just started using this treatment. This is the second time that I've done it. So I haven't been using this for too long. And you don't have to put like a ton of conditioner. Now, I like to put a lot down at the bottom and a little bit at the top. Not too much because I don't want to weigh it down, but I do want conditioner at the top because I want my scalp to get some of that moisture also. I want it to condition my scalp a bit. As soon as you are done applying your conditioner, immediately put the shower cap on because we want to keep that heat in there. Let's see if I can do it. My hands are a little slippery. I'll just do it like this. So just put it on. Tuck everything in. Let me look in the mirror and make sure that everything is in there. And I know you can buy these treatments at the store, but like I said, it, those are usually like the deep conditioner treatments, deep conditioning treatments, and they have added ingredients. And sometimes those ingredients don't work well for certain hair types. And I trust my conditioner. It hasn't given me any problems, so I feel comfortable using what I know works. And I like that the regular conditioner is so much lighter than the deep conditioner, so it's not going to make my hair flat. And once you put your shower cap on, you can just leave it like this, or if you want, 
to really keep that heat in there. You can also wrap a towel over your head. I'm not going to wrap a towel because while I wait for 30 minutes, I'm just going to clean up my bathroom. And if I have a towel on my head, it's just going to keep falling down. So I'm just going to leave my shower cap as it is. And once the 30 minutes is up, I will rinse it off in the shower. I'll let my hair dry and then I will come back so you can see what my hair looks like once it's all dry. I am back. My hair is dry and I have not applied any products to my hair because I wanted you to see what my hair looks like after I use the treatment with no products interfering with the results. So my hair is really soft. It does not feel dry at all. It's smooth. So there's no frizz. This needs to be styled. I didn't style my hair. I wanted you to see what it looked like after it was dried without any styling, without any products. So it hangs really nice. It feels soft and silky. And it is just a really great way to keep your hair from getting dry or getting rid of the dryness and helping with the frizziness. I really wanted something for the winter time because that's when my hair and scalp get really dry, but this is perfect to use all year long and it's really light so it's not going to weigh your hair down like this and make your hair nice and flat. So you can see my hair has some bounce to it and um, looks nice and full. So it is a really great treatment. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if you tried it and if it worked for you and how you liked it or didn't like it. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.